But then there's the possibility that it is the moment of truth. Let's go to Nancy Grace, who is joining us. Nancy, what do you think is happening right now? Well, I find it very interesting. Uh, you, you don't typically bring in families of the parties for a question. Uh, it, it could be a deadlock. It could be a question like, uh, there are people on the jury that won't deliberate anymore. It could be an issue of somebody is going to be thrown off that jury and they're going to have to put in an alternate. It is a different tone. There is something going on beside the regular one of the meal questions that have largely been answered, asked and answered without us even knowing and then kept under seal. Um, our producer, Jackie Turanian, has been getting emails. You're getting little tidbits. Give us your latest tidbit. So we're hearing that Jody's sitting inside talking to her attorneys. The judge is still not on the bench, and we're still looking at that seal, which I'm sure everyone at home can see. But Jody is inside. She's talking with her attorneys back and forth. Well, this is what I don't understand, Nancy. Maybe you could explain it. Usually when there is, let's say, a verdict, the, we all get the, the word at the same time. Right. Bing, 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 verdict, and everybody jumps out of their seat. It happened the way this is going down, which suggests it's not a verdict. Although... I'm telling you, for just a run-of-the-mill question, another jury question, you don't bring in the defendant's family, you don't bring in the victim's family, they're handled in chambers, and it's SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. So obviously, whatever is brewing in that courtroom is not run-of-the-mill, it could be a turn in the tide. It's either a verdict, a hung jury, or they're going to have to throw somebody off the jury. You got some new information, Jackie. What is it? We're hearing the entire Alexander family is inside. There's still no sign of Jody's family. We're also getting from Gene Casares that Kirk Nurmi is intently talking with Jennifer Wilmot. Hands are on his hips, and the mitigation and specialist is seated and intently talking to Jody. What do you make of that, Nancy? Well, it's interesting if the if they're having this kind of conversation again, and we're all just looking through the mirror darkly. If there's a verdict, George, what they have gone through, what have fought as hard as they have fought to just lay down and say, go ahead, run over me. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't see it. I don't see Martinez backing down. If anything, I would see him wanting to restrike a new jury pronto. Jackie, you got some new information. I, this is just coming in really, really quick. Jody appears to be very, very upset, and it looks like her mitigation specialist is actually giving her a pep talk. Still no word on what is actually happening inside, but she appears to be giving her some kind of pep talk. Vinny Politan, what do you make of it? I, this is a... We're getting breaking news in. Jackie, you've gotten two pieces of information. The latest is that the jurors have completely declined to talk. Their names are being sealed. We will have no idea who they are. They do not want to go forward. Their lips are completely sealed. Additionally, Juan Martinez not talking at this time either. Looks like everyone just wants to get out of the courtroom as fast as they can and go home. Beth Karras. Uh, you were hoping to go back in there for a jury news conference, and now nothing. 